isolated Russia after Putin's death to face disintegration process. Serhii Plokhi, professor and director of the Ukrainian Research Institute of Harvard University, believes that after Vladimir Putin's death, isolated Russia will experience a very difficult period during which disintegration can become part of its history. He says after Putin's death, a brutal period may follow for an isolated Russia with the possibility of disintegration. Changes in the country can be aimed at improving relations with Europe and restoring ties in the global market. President of Ukraine Zelensky calls Putin dangerous, noting his extraordinary nature and inability to stop. Relations between Russia and Ukraine compared to the First World War have more in common with the aggression of Hitler's Germany in Europe. After the death of a tyrant or dictator, there is always a period of selection and struggle for power among the heirs, and political changes can be significant. It may or may not happen. But war is a crisis, and it is clear that this war cannot continue after Putin because it is not in the interests of many people, including Russian business. There will be changes. There will be some tectonic upheavals. And from this point of view, such countries or such parts of Russia, such as Chechnya, which de facto already function almost as independent, can leave. Russia is Kadyrov's tributary and not the other way around, he said. I do not believe that this generation of Russians will prefer, say, a vacation in Beijing over a trip to Paris. A kind of rollback and a return to rebuilding bridges with Europe will begin because at their peak in terms of education and other things, the Russian imperial and modern elite focused on Europe. Plokhi said, according to him, after the death of a de facto tyrant or dictator type leader, there is always a particular choice and struggle between his heirs and none of them will be strong enough to continue a policy that is so harmful to Russia itself. This is a historian's view. We cannot look into tomorrow. We can only make assumptions. This is the most likely scenario from the point of view of the history of Russia in the last 100 years. How there were changes from Lenin to Stalin. How, after Stalin's death, there was competition between the heirs. This is an opportunity for totalitarian regimes to change course, he added. Газуй, газуй, газуй. 